Hello, hello, drummers. Today, I'll be taking you from this. Right, left, right, left, right, f to this. If you're just starting working on your paradiddles, please know this will take time. Humans are not born as babies ripping paradiddles, all right? Natural talent will give you a head start, but time and effort wins every time. So please do subscribe and hit the like button. It makes a big difference, and I'm putting out a video every couple of weeks at the minute. Something that for me always differentiated a good drummer from a great drummer is their internal dynamics. How loud some notes are versus how quiet others are. Something that when I was young, I just completely didn't understand or care about for that matter. The problem most drummers have with the paradiddle is they focus on the what rather than the how. It's not what the paradiddle is that makes it interesting, it's how you play it. With that in mind, we're gonna look at how we play the paradiddle. We're gonna muck around with the accents of the basic paradiddle to begin, and once we can do that, we'll look into the next building block of what we need to do to make our paradiddles cool. Now you know we can create some cool things with what most drummers think of as a boring pattern. Let's think about the options we have with this. The following are the most useful options that I've found when playing the right paradiddle into the left paradiddle, i.e. as an alternating rudiment. I'll play each one twice. As the paradiddle is just right, left, right, right, and then the same thing mirrored with the left. What you should notice here is that these are just different options, combinations, accent patterns of accenting either the first note of the paradiddle, so right, left, right, right, the second note of the paradiddle, right, left, right, right, the first and the second note of the paradiddle, right, left, right, right, or neither, right, left, right, right. And then the exact same thing, but starting with the left. Do you see how many different options and combinations there are just with the paradiddle? You can literally make infinite fills by reordering and arranging just those patterns. The key here is to think of these things as melodies, not rights and lefts. No one can think right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, <laughs> at 200 BPM. It's impossible. You just need to play these things enough so that your brain goes on autopilot and we can just think, or whatever pattern you choose. First though, let's just go through a couple of these options and I'll show you some cool orchestrations that you can do on the toms that will make it sound really good when we add the next building block. Okay, so now we've got the accents down and plenty of options for creating basically infinite paradiddle fills. Now it's time for the fun bit. This is what will really make your paradiddle stand out. I think I first got the inspiration for this watching one of John Bonham's Moby Dick solos, but as I've got older, I've realized he's playing something a little bit different. But that's good because we don't wanna copy people, we wanna take inspiration and make it our own thing. We will play the same orchestration as before, but this time, 
every time you play two lefts in a row, the left diddle of the left paradiddle, we will replace or substitute those two notes with two kicks instead. I'll demonstrate this for you really slow. Now we've got all our parts done and ingrained and can add kicks wherever we want, we can actually make cool fills using the paradiddle. Who would have thought? To do this, take each accent phrase of the paradiddle that we've learnt, A, B, C, D, etc, and consider it a word. You can construct sentences by moving the words around and creating your own thing. The final section on this is to add in some other note groupings so we don't sound monotonous doing the same thing for our whole lick. You can use whatever you want here, but it does sound cool with right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left. I'll loop my favorite orchestration of this and then go into a groove so you can hear how it would sound like if you were using it as a fill or whatever. Thank you so much for watching and please do consider liking and subscribing. It makes a massive difference. Have an awesome rest of the day.